how to create a backlog in ClickUp. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I am going to show you how you can easily create a backlog into your ClickUp space. So it is very easy and very simple. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you are going to be good to go. The backlog will help you right there uh, manage more carefully the tasks and also the final task that you need or the goal that you need to achieve. So uh, from here, you're going to head over clickup.com, sign on for or sign up for an account. And after that, you're going simply to see here the dashboard. Once you have the dashboard, you're going to head over the left side of the screen. We have here the homepage, the inboxes and etc. So the first thing that you are going to do is to create a new space. So we are not going to use the spaces that we have, but we are going to create a new space special for the backlog. We are going to click on new space. We're going to name it and also set an icon and a color for it. For example, we are going to head over here and put this file icon and an orange color. For example, we are going to set up a name like here goal for example goal like that for description we are going to copy and paste as the same icon uh, name right there now i'm going simply to click on continue so define your workflow right there we are going to set up here not for everyday tasks but here maybe we can go ahead and set up the project management or select one of the themes that or the themes that we have product or marketing teams or project management usually i use that for the project management because we are going to have here a goal and it is not going to be here a daily uh, basis task so we are going to set up some weekly tasks because here we are going to use the feature of the sprints and the sprints are going to be done uh, weekly so here we are going to customize the default for the project management right there. We're going to click on the default view. We're going to select or enable the list, the calendar. We're going to disable the Gantt and the team. So I'm going to let it as it here as like that. You can also disable the calendar and let only the list and the work. Here, depending on your needs, you're going to activate whatever you want. In my case, I will go ahead and be satisfied with the list and the boards. Now for the task status, we're going to click on it. And here we have the status. The not started is going to be here to do. The active, I'm going to uh, set up here in progress, at risk, update required, on hold, also planning. So for the planning, I'm going to delete it. I will only let these status. For the done one, we have the complete and the cancel. I'm going to apply the changes. Now let's head over the click apps. I'm going to activate the sprints, remove the tags, the emails, custom fields, and uh, time tracking, and etc. So I will be satisfied only with these so i'm going to show the status bar and the sprints the priority now i'm going to click on done here remember that it is going to be up to you to choose whatever uh, click apps you're going to implement or enable right there now we are going to create that space this space is created now we are going to click on the three dots for the space settings. Then we are going simply to create the uh, right there uh, the new let's say folder sprint or sprint folders. We're going to right click on create new. We're going to uh, head over the sprint folder, click on it, and it will be named. So right there, we're going to set up a, a sprint folder or let it like this. The measure of effort 
is going to be your sprint points. So the sprint start day and the sprint duration in weeks. Usually here for creating a backlog, you, we are going simply right there to create from one week to four weeks a month. So we are going to create a four weeks sprint duration. The uh, sprint start day, you are going to set up here the first day that the sprint will be started. Now we have the sprint folder. So we're going to see here the lists, the overview, and etc. So we are going, for example, here to create the sprints. Here we have the first sprint. We're going to set up the uh, sprint name of the first one. For example, here we're going to uh, set up the uh, sprint name, let it like that. So for the use of the template, you can go ahead and use a task, for example, a list or something like that. So you are going to let or the ClickUp will let you use a list. So you can set it whatever you want. I'm going to ignore these uh, templates. Uh, but here you are going to see the start date and the default uh, here duration is going to be two weeks i think it has set up here the uh, start date and also the end date so we are going to click on create this is the first as you can see sprint we have the status and we have everything so we are going to create the sprint two and from here you're going to set up also the uh, the sprint goal i'm going to create Add another sprint and the fourth one so right there for these sprints you're going to set up for example here the tasks so usually you're going to set up for example the first task which is going to be let's say uh, here are going to set up uh, for example we're going to head over the fourth sprint which is the final goal and we are going to set it before setting up the backlog. So right there, buying assets. The uh, third sprint is going to be here, uh, gathering your resources. And for the second sprint, it is going to be right there. Let's say from gathering resources here, collecting funds. And from the first spring, we are going to add the task of right there, uh, uh, setting up, setting up. The account and here we have it you can add from the backlog right there of the sprints for example here we have a, a backlog added also we can go ahead and add another backlog for example you can go ahead and set up the uh, sprint uh, three for example you can go ahead and create the task from there so we are going to set up here uh, for example collecting funds and then you're going to create the tasks so this is the uh, sprints and here we have the backlogs as you can see you can add uh, the backlogs also show the assigned or unassigned tasks right there we have uh, successfully created our sprints and the backlog is already uh, ready so we are going to click on add from backlog and you're going to see here the sprints. So that was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one.